What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and last time you guys saw me unbox Ultra Instinct Goku Omen bus made by Alphabito and J. Ross As you can see, he is chilling right behind me and today I'm going to unbox the Master Ultra Instinct version of this bus made by the same companies uh, where he has his silver hair This is the form where he finally achieved that pinnacle power Master Ultra Instinct but yeah, the statue I'm about to unbox is still available. It costs $950, but if you order it now, it will only cost $850 plus shipping for a life-size Master Ultra Instinct Goku bus. I think this bus would be the centerpiece of my collection because it's amazing looking and I cannot wait to show you guys that. But anyways, if you guys want to order, I will put the link in the description below their email or fubidoresin at gmail.com So you guys can email them, you know, ask for a deposit, which I think is like $150 And this statue will release, I think, by the end of this year So just ask for an invoice, a deposit, and they will send you it Payment method is PayPal But anyways, enough talking, let's get to this unboxing right away and I'll see you guys afterwards so I can talk more about this statue. Peace out everybody. What a quick unboxing. <laughs> Just two pieces, the base and the body. That's it. I don't like when a statue comes with so many pieces that I have to figure it out, you know, sit down and figure out which piece goes where, there is no instruction or whatever. This is what I like about unboxing bus. This is so big. It only needs two pieces to put together. But anyways, this is an unboxing of Master Ultra Instinct Goku made by Ofubido and J. Ross collaboration together. As you can see, he has his silver hair, the face, the eye also has more silver in his eyes. Other than that, the base is exactly the same, the skin tone is the same. But yeah, really awesome piece and now I'm gonna give you guys some close-up look on this statue. So once again, here is the Tournament of Power base, the Battleground. Since this is a prototype, there is no LED light-up feature, but the production piece, if you guys buy this statue, you guys will get LEDs all around the base. This, I think the boss told me that he's going to make LEDs. You see this line right here? Yeah, it will shine up to the statue, making it look even more cooler. Can't wait to see the light-up feature onto this base. But for now, the base is awesome with some crack and the Tumina Power emblem logo all around with little triangles and rectangular shape and stuff. 
And now onto the body. You guys can see Goku has this app. Really like how they include kind of like a six pack. And now onto some more nip slip. And beside the nip slip is the battle damage. Check out how awesome this skin tone is. You guys can see all the texture and details. Like this little slash. I don't know what I call these. <laughs> Looks awesome by the way. All throughout the body and battle damage. And the veins. This is one of my favorite part on the skin. This green veins right here. He has one on the left shoulder. And one on his right shoulders. And some on his neck. Awesome that they did add this veins with green color, kind of like showing how intense Goku has transformed into this Master Ultra Instinct. Back at the shoulders, his neck. Pretty texture and details also. As you guys can see, more abs. And now, on to my favorite part once again is the face right here check out this face this face looks just like the uh, omen ultra instinct that i unboxed earlier for you guys but i think the eyes has more silver color and the eyebrows has silver color also as you guys can see remember this is just a prototype so I'm sure they are going to make this face even better. The skin tone, the hair, everything. Check out how awesome from this angle. Goku is like staring down at Jiren, his opponent. While thinking, what should I do next? I'm gonna beat your ass up. Yeah, some battle damage on the forehead. And now, voila. The hair itself. Check out this hair, wow. When I first look at both statue, the Omen Ultra Instinct and this Master Ultra Instinct, I immediately look at their hair. And I actually prefer the uh, Omen Ultra Instinct, as you can see behind me. But now that I look closer at this hair, this Master Ultra Instinct version, I think I'm in love with this hair, man. Wow. The silver hair all around has this um, darker tone of silver and black painted on there. Gives out the Master Ultra Instinct look all throughout this hair. Just like in the anime when Goku turned into this super form the pinnacle of greatness. And here are some back shots of his hair. So it's just silver with darker tone of silver, you guys can see right here. And uh, black to give out more um, the shadow, I guess. I don't know why I say shadow. I'm, I'm at loss for words. I'm sorry guys, but wow. I cannot stop looking at this hair. It goes perfectly with the face too, with the silver eyebrows and eyeballs. So yeah, those are the close up look on Master Ultra Instinct bus. I feel so overwhelmed right now, sitting together between these two bus. <laughs> so yeah, here are the two of them together. As you guys can see, this is the Omen Ultra Instinct. And this is the Master Ultra Instinct Goku. But actually there's one piece missing on this hair. It's this little uh, single hair here. Due to the shipment, I think the shipping company lost one of this piece onto this bus. So, uh, but... Don't worry, when you guys receive this statue, you guys can get the full complete set with the piece of hair, the certificate of authenticity, the number base and everything. So, as you guys can see, the silver hair Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, gives out this 
more pop out color rather than comparing to the black hair version and in my opinion now when I look at both of these statues I don't know which one I feel you know I like it better because how good looking they are wow but yeah like I say this Master Ultra Instinct version is still available it costs $850 if you order it now and I will leave the email once again of resin at gmail.com below so you guys can talk, contact them and ask them for an invoice $150 payment plans and all that stuff and this statue like I say will release in the end of this year I guess but yeah really awesome now that I saw them both in person I like I say I don't know which one I like it better at first when I saw pictures I prefer this one but now looking at both together I don't know I don't know you tell me let me know in the comment section which version you guys like better you know I spoke to most of the guys my friends at the convention and 50 50 they said they like this silver hair the other 50 they say this black hair you know it's just depend on the taste but uh, most people think that this silver hair is more complete because this is Goku in his complete form Master Ultra Instinct so once again great job of Obito and Jay Ross for finally giving out what the audience want the best version of Goku yet um, in my opinion from the base really love this base both of them the tournament up power battleground up to the skin tone up to the battle damage some nip slip some veins green veins the face my favorite of them all awesome angry cool calm looking face and now the hair i don't know which one's my favorite the black hair or the silver hair um this silver hair is awesome really like it with some darker tone to give out more um, death I think look I don't know I don't know which words I'm going to describe but so yeah thank you so much everybody for watching me unboxing my two pal together Master Ultra Instinct on my right Omen Ultra Instinct on my left Goku and I cannot wait to show you guys more statue unboxing and yeah please subscribe for more unboxing and more review Give a like, leave a comment which version you guys like better. Um, it really helps me, you know, pumping out more content for you guys. So, once again, thank you so much. I'm going to give you guys some more close-up look on this Master Ultra Instinct version. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Ah, goodbye.